we go. But this is this is the the valley that we originally started in. You can see the uh, mongoose head there. I, I think it still needs a little bit more detail, but um, we've got a a fountain here with a a, a secret underneath. I'll I'll just leave it at that. Uh, we've got our waterfall here, which I think still needs to be switched to a uh, uh, bridge over the the lake here or the the creek here. I think this needs to be switched to to regular stone. And there was a secret underneath here. I don't know whether or not it still is. I think I sealed it up. Nope, secret still here. Uh, this was gonna be your bank, and that's why there's uh, uh, that's why there's yeah, I'm looking for the word obsidian here. And it was going to be uh, like you, you drop your items here, they come out here, and there'd be like access for the tellers over here and a vault underneath. But we ended up not going, uh, putting it here. We ended up putting it in the Undercity, so. But yeah, these are the original towers and blue spires of the Inner City. Uh, up above is our, our terraced wheat farm. The the lower level was supposed to be just like a garden area, but some idiot decided to start planting wheat down there. I hope they don't take it further, but it, it's all just really hard to, to do everything. I've, I've got a guy talking to me. He's He's been sitting here waiting for people to, to do stuff, but why is this stuck open? This should not be stuck open. There we go. But I, I put a lot of work into... Uh, into the the paths and the uh, the water flows here to make sure everything uh, uh, looked like it was almost like it was natural. I, I wanted, even though the terraces were obviously man-made, I, I wanted the irrigation to look natural. I wanted the paths to look natural. Uh, I, I even had to carve out this this little pond here. But um, still, I think it all it all turned out rather well. We've got our little pot lights here. Next up is the uh, uh, the Undercity, which is under the the entrance to which is inside the mouth of a mongoose. Um, originally, it was just gonna be like a one wide uh, spiral staircase that worked using uh, pulled into the in and out of the wall using using pistons. But uh, this was before pistons came in, and people just kept falling off it, so they changed it like this. And I I think now pistons would have been too hard. And who the hell screwed that up? There is a reason that was like that. Okay, that is like that so that you've got this little divot here. This is where people pop out from the... Uh, here, make it a little bit more obvious. This is where people pop out from the teleporter, which you have to be part of the build list to use, so it's kind of ironic. Uh, the spiral staircase does go all the way down, but we've got this, this uh, pretty much leap of faith pit here going. It, it's a drop pit, just goes straight down. Water slows you down enough. Caution, falling players. But yeah, this is just the, the uh, stairway going up. And I feel like this isn't as well lit as it should be. It's like somebody's been messing around with uh, the torches or something. And I really p wish people wouldn't. This was why I was a bit apprehensive about letting people in. And the funny thing is, they shouldn't be able to build here, so... But yeah, this is our teleporter. I'll show you that later. Um, over here is our town hall. It's got a, a jail, bank, uh, cafe, and inn. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the upper floors first. Uh, the first uh, upper floor would be the uh, cafe, I believe. Yeah, this is the cafe. It's got some seating and, and tables, chairs. This is where the uh, people would serve stuff. And uh, up above that is the inn. It's got some more seating up here, but you've got rooms back in here all around. I still feel like this place is unfinished or something. I don't really know why, but it, it just feels unfinished to me. And I swear people are stealing torches from in here, even though there's no reason to. Uh, this is just access to the locks for a, uh, a secret door that doesn't really lead anywhere right now. As far as I know, it just leads like to an empty room. It uh, uses pistons. Aruza set it up. He's one of our bankers. They're not the head banker. That would be Sage Aconquo. Uh, down in here, we've got the, the teller areas as well as 
the uh, switch to toggle the entrance to the jail. Down here is our vault. Um, obviously, all the bedrock was uh, world edited in. But here we've got our vault. It, it's pretty well organized. Uh, we've got just a lot, a bunch of furnaces down here for when we need to cook materials for people. This is where we store like all the, the materials in Haven that aren't diamond or uh, uh, or gold. And pretty much the, the idea is that uh, people will uh, come here if they need materials. The tellers will, will make sure, the teller's job is to not only get materials for people, but also to make sure that, uh, that they don't uh, take too much since we are going for a community type feel. And uh, Sage Okonkwo's secondary nature is to go through and check people's chests which I think he can do even through LWC now that he's a GM. Uh, just to make sure that people aren't hoarding materials and that they're, that they're not uh, hiding stuff from us. Uh, down here is our jail. Uh, I don't think it's set up as a jail proper yet, but it, it's nice. you got a bed, you've got a chest, which actually people, they can't use, ironically enough. It's got a switch out here for the uh, doors. But uh, we've got like a couple luxury cells basically. They're much larger. It's this corner cell and the uh, other corner cell over here. Which these are, are missing all their levers. I don't really know why. Stop griefing our own builds, people! But yeah, you can see this is rather large. Uh, up there is kind of a guard room. I'll, I'll show you the other one. Uh, Pretty much, it, it's the same on both sides, uh, but the the other one uh, overlooks or has a balcony that overlooks the entire uh, undercity. Uh, access for these these guards uh, guard houses are, are through the pillars underneath them. Just got massive uh, uh, ladders here. Go straight up. Oops, got stuck there a little. But yeah, you've got the. Uh, Guard rooms here, guard shift schedule, everything, uh, supplies for the guards, got some extra cake here, I'll go ahead and eat that. Uh, food, armor, range weapons, melee weapons, uh, access here, I would assume, to the other. Yeah, this is to the other uh, guard room. This, I think, is relatively new. A, a new passageway, so, I mean, we needed it, so I'm, I'm not complaining about that. But they, they've got, uh, you can see out here, the uh, the inside of the arch itself. We didn't carve out the arch. We we, we used World Edit. I'll admit it. We used World Edit to, to carve out uh, most of these areas. So we just got like a huge block emptied out and then eventually added in the arch. Uh, I don't know what this is, though. Hopefully somebody was carving through here or something. Hit some caves or something. I don't know what's going on here. But, uh-oh, that's a problem. If I can get back out here. Yeah, here's our, our balcony that, here, let me fix this. There we go. That overlooks the uh, the great city. Uh, you can see one of the aqueducts. This was the, the original design. Uh, we, we felt it was too heavy. Too, uh, it slanted too much. It, it just didn't feel right. So we're, we're reworking it, and you can see uh, part of it uh, set up there for, for what's going to happen. I'm not quite sure I like the, the one thick pillars. I, I think maybe two or, or three even. Just not these, these massive pillars like that. Uh, the, the iron, I believe, around here, uh, the, the plots uh, rounded by iron, I believe, are residential, whereas the ones in gold are, are for markets. Uh, we're going to have, like, uh, garden it type areas, fountains, water features, and such. Uh, down the main thoroughfare here. Uh, this is going to be a garden type area surrounding the, the great tree, which almost looks like it's supporting the the uh, floating uh, island it's built on. But it it's actually uh, the, the we put the floating island there first, and the the whole lore is supposed to be that uh, we we raise the the island using magic. Uh, as a home for the, the tree itself, the tree of life. And the lore says that uh, when 
As as long as the tree blooms, looks like there's a problem there. Uh oh, I can see the the roof. But as long as the tree blooms, there there's hope for Aegis. And if it should wither and die, all hope is lost, and the undead have won. Uh, not all these regions are set up properly yet. So, yeah, Haven House won. These are the uh, the residential for the the undercity. Um. I'll go ahead and check out the, the tree itself. But you, you see how thick these pillars are? And how heavy everything feels for this aqueduct? It, it just didn't feel right. So we're, we're reworking it. Uh, up here is an area that is uh, restricted pretty much just to the sages. It's, that's why there's no decoration really throughout the, the trunk of the tree. Um, it's pretty much the, the sages' private uh, area for, for living and, and meeting and such. Uh, it's still a bit under construction. Uh, we've kind of put it on hold a bit because uh, we've been working on other things. But what, what's going to happen is um, along here, there uh, where these jut out, there will be four. There, there, one here, one there, and two on the other side. Four houses for four of the sages. Um, and uh, one of these quarters up here, I'm not sure which side yet. But one of the quarters over here is going to be taken up entirely by Rizu's house. He gets the largest because he's the master sage. And, uh... Oh, we still need to rework this side so that the uh, water cascades underneath like it does over here. And then on the, the final quarter, there's going to be uh, probably something like a private library for the sages or something. I don't have any wood to fix that, unfortunately. And this is missing the pillar in the center. This should have a pillar in the center. Uh, like up top. The reason these are still dirt is we haven't switched it out for glowstone yet. But anyways, the, the only access to uh, this upper tier will be from these uh, uh, balconies along the sides here. These kind of curve type balconies. Uh, kind of a, a little bit of garden area here. It's really well lit. I, I really like the way these pillars all turned out. The glowstone pillars. And this is our... Uh-oh. Uh, uh we're missing a chair here, too. We still need to add in another chair. Uh, but this is our, our, our meeting table. Um, Rizu's chair would be over here, I believe. And uh, I think on the... the uh, On his right would be Sue, since I think he's second in command. I'm not entirely sure, but I think he's second in command. And on his left would be me. And then the, the other uh, two chairs would be uh, Oko and Omni. And the final chair would either be for Fabius if he ever returned or, uh, uh, or a Veiler should he wish to join our councils. But yeah, this is pretty much our council chamber. Got these little balconies out to the side. But I, I think it turned out really nice how, how everything worked. But um, still... Mm, excuse me. Uh, Amtra Spectral uh, Sage uh, Okonkwo is the uh, one who's responsible for building the bulk of the tree. Uh, we, we ended up making him a sage because uh, Fabius kind of uh, disappeared on us without warning and, and hadn't really been heard from since. So we've... Uh, uh, and uh, Amtra just helped a lot with a whole bunch of stuff, including making the tree... So we, we ended up just making him a sage. You can see the, the lake here, which has uh, sponges at the bottom, which we can't actually remove because, oh, it actually worked. That was not actually supposed to work. Uh, back when they first added the whole so soul stone uh, uh, mod we couldn't remove them because it, it was being recognized as not our soul stones so I'm glad I actually got those removed now uh, eventually all, all these torches will, will disappear uh, this is actually the academy here but I want to show you something else first uh, this is Rizu's model of what the academy uh, the entire academy uh, area will eventually look like uh, this pillar being the tree this would be a water feature here we have the, the uh, 
main academy building, that building. Right here would be the library, uh, which I'm, I'm currently designing right now, uh, something uh, similar in design to the uh, central uh, building of the uh, uh, Library of Congress in Washington, D.C., at least on the outside. But uh, I, I just haven't laid it out yet because I, I, I'm not entirely sure like what area I should use or how large I can go. Uh, over here would be housing for, for teachers. That would be like over here and stuff. Um, on the other side would be uh, uh, a building for, uh, for classrooms, essentially a college type area. And on the other side would be uh, more... Uh, rooms for teachers, I guess. I feel almost like we should have it dorms for students, even if it's just superficial. But anyways, uh, in here is the uh, the academy as it stands right now. And I have no idea why this is here. This should not be here. Who's been fucking around? You guys, stop doing this, guys. But this turned out rather nice. Uh, uh, whoa, what happened here? Who the hell griefed the shit out of this? What the fuck? This is a serious problem. Okay. Whoever is in Ascended, please, please, please do not grief our builds. I mean, that is one of the worst things you can do. That's one of the reasons why we've been working on, on removing uh, uh, people from the, the uh, main build list. Unfortunately, we had to add a bunch of people back in because we don't have uh, everything set up to the point where we can just keep only only the sages uh, on the build list. Because how it's supposed to be is that the sages end up being uh, the only people on the build list. And then uh, everybody else has access only to public areas and their own private houses. <coughs> and my, we might uh, give build access to uh, acolytes. Which are like our, our, our higher up uh, guard type dealies. But um, still, if you if you come up here, this is our uh, uh, a current academy library. It's mostly empty and stuff. But it's 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 a decent area, and there's a nice view from the balcony. Um, Sue obviously isn't done with the the academy itself, or this building actually. Because there is a, a third level up here, but I don't I don't know what he's doing with it. Uh, it's mostly just empty right now. Uh, you can see where it clearly goes to the back of the uh, of the entire cavern itself. So that actually, I believe, is all of Haven as it stands right now. Uh, we are obviously still very much in in working on it and everything, um, but I, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. I, I promise my my next videos will be uh, RP related uh, rather than tours and stuff. But uh, uh, until then, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.